less for Native American activists who call this a turning point. This is the first time in a district court that the Redskins mark or any professional football team mark has been deemed to be uh, disparaging towards a group of people. The team's name and logos have not lost trademark protection. The legal fight, like this debate, could go on for years. I don't think there's a problem with the team name. I mean, they've had it for what, like 60 to 80 years now? We're going to really keep arguing about this if so many people find it very offensive. Some experts say the Redskins' name is worth more than $200 million. This ruling would affect the word Redskins on merchandise. Not the logo or items marked with the letter R. I think if they start losing money, maybe that'll make force them to make that change. Now, team president Bruce Allen is vowing to appeal in a statement. He says the facts and the law are on the side of our franchise that has proudly used the name Washington Redskins for more than 80 years. But as the judge himself said, he cannot order a name change. That is up to the team and Dad Snyder, who has vowed not to do so. Live in Alexandria, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. All right, good deal. Thanks, Rich. Well, look, we're dry tonight. He's for outside now. talking. He doesn't for have an umbrella over For head. now, but you know what? There were some heavy rains that rolled through here earlier this Big evening. Time. They were intense, and when the showers were coming down, we had some flooding. We saw some of those pictures from Fairfax yeah. County. That's calming down. We have one more chance of some storms tomorrow, probably late afternoon, early evening, and after that, we may have three dry days in a row. Go we'll, figure. We'll believe that when we see it. <laughs> we haven't had a dry weekend in a while, that's for sure. Hey, look, we got to 92 today. That happened before the showers came down. A 78 was the morning low. Typically this time of year, about 89 and 71. So riding a little bit above where we typically are for this time of year. Sun was down uh, about uh, 849 at night, back up tomorrow at 5. 51 in the morning, but some other numbers we want to talk about that were impressive were the rainfall totals, but you can definitely see that wedge where that moisture was 1.6 inches of rain. Dulles, look at that just today. Winchester just shy of two inches, just over an inch right at Reagan National two at Anders. But meanwhile, look at Quantico 5100s Baltimore, nothing. So there's a little band but an intense band that pushed on through and wreaked havoc. Now I want to mention there's one lingering flood concern, one flood warning for rivers, creeks and streams through about midnight 15, 12, 15 a.m. for central Fairfax. They're the, some of the areas that got hit the worst. Now the big picture shows some sporadic light moisture through the valley, through West Virginia, out through Ohio. There's some mosey on eastward and as we head towards dawn, a few lingering sprinkles here or there. We're going to watch this carefully because if some of these clouds do linger, that could hold our temperatures back a bit tomorrow and possibly cut back on our risk for severe weather. I want to uh, hone in here and show you our Stormwatch Doppler radar and there's a couple little pockets of rain. Dale City down to Stafford over towards La Plata, Dunkirk into Charles County and a little pocket in southwestern Loudoun County but these showers much lighter than what we had earlier. Here we are in the 11 o'clock hour temperatures still look at that 79 downtown, 75 Manassas, 77 in Hagerstown and super duper muggy. Here's our future cast tonight as we head through the overnight into tomorrow morning. A few sporadic showers by tomorrow morning, maybe a few lingering sprinkles. We'll have clouds around tomorrow, but I'm hoping we'll get a little sunshine here and there. But by midday and afternoon, some showers and storms may start to fire off, and some of those could be strong to severe. We'll watch that carefully. We have a slight risk from the Storm Prediction Center for tomorrow afternoon. So here's a look at the forecast then through the overnight. Some lingering showers the next couple of days. Tomorrow, the only one with showers and storms. And if we do get some of that sunshine to break through, we could, we could get into the 90s and then back into the upper 80s. And we may actually have a touch less humidity Friday and Saturday and to Sunday as well. The long term, not so bad for a weekend in July. You're promising an awful lot, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> but can I deliver? That's <laughs> We're counting on you, man. All right. Uh, can't count on the Nats tonight, huh? No, no, rain. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Uh, well, the Nats were, <laughs> pat yourself on the back. Uh, the Nats were rained out tonight, and that might be a good thing. Uh, they were hoping to avoid a sweep. Meanwhile, uh, we could see another addition to the disabled list family. Details next in sports. What happens in your home when everyone is online at once? Does the internet ever slow down? All the time. I'll be trying to play online and we'll have someone else streaming in the other room. Well, Xfinity has the fastest and most reliable in-home Wi-Fi. Look how fast the showdown is. Wow.